Hey y'all! So I'm about to start getting ready to prepare a roast beef for us to have for tonight. We're going to slow cook it. We've got parsley, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, and then we're going to add some, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Of course, we're going to have water. So yeah, we're winging it today. And today is a bit gloomy because we've had some bad weather come through, which really sucks. <laughs> I'm ready for all this bad weather to go away. Okay, so I'm not going to go by measurements or anything like that because I'd rather just add as much or as little as I want. So... I'm anxious to know how this is going to turn out because, like I said, this is the first time kind of doing this, really. I always just buy the pot roast seasoning mix whenever I slow cook it. And I just don't have time for that today. And I would just rather uh, just wing it. <laughs> I did look up a line for measurements and, well, not measurements, but like the seasonings and stuff like that. So, that's my daughter. Sorry, y'all. She's moving, the, <laughs> moving the camera. Okay, and then I'm going to add some water. And then we're just going to slow cook it for all day. Okay, so I really wanted to make this gingerbread quick bread and muffin mix so but what i'm gonna do is that i'm actually going to use this donut pan i'm gonna make them into like little donuts and then after they're done i want to sprinkle some like little sprinkles and stuff like that on there so I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. I've never tried the gingerbread bread before. So I would actually like to get some gingerbread cookies and well, I like to make gingerbread cookies is what I would like to do. I think that would be really fun to do get my little baby girl in here and let her bake some cookies with me okay so third cup of water two eggs Okay, so that is how it looks. Okay, 
So I'm just gonna use this little spoon. Kind of just spoon it in. Okay, y'all, so they did not take long to bake at all. Um, I can't tell you exactly how long it took, but it definitely didn't take long at all. So I just kept a check on them. So I'm kind of just pressing them in there. So they'll kind of stay. Maybe they'll melt into them a little bit since it's a little still warm. Some of the some of the gingerbread mix was left over, so I'm actually going to put sprinkles this time on top for them to bake. So, and I'm hoping that will turn out a lot better. I hope so. We're gonna see. That way the sprinkles can kind of bake into it and maybe that will be a lot better. My daughter is over here playing with the with the cabinet. She's always getting into the cabinets. When I'm in the kitchen, she has to be in the kitchen with me. Okay, y'all, so here are the donuts, the second uh, little batch that I did. And I actually like doing this a lot better because it kind of melts in the into the batter. So definitely more festive, definitely Christmassy. And I still love these, even though the sprinkles didn't do right. Of course, when you make donuts, you need like a bit of a glaze or whatever. But I was hoping that the sprinkles would kind of melt into the the donut with it still being hot. But that did not happen. So I tried this method and I definitely like this method a lot better. I do have to say that I think next time, because I would like to make these again, I would like to try and do it like halfway like put the sprinkles at halfway time and then i would also would like to make little wreaths next time i think that would be really really cute okay so i was gonna make cornbread but i did not have the all-purpose flour so i'm just gonna go on and make some crescent rolls instead uh, definitely been off my game lately, but we are going to go and be buying some groceries this, well, tonight. So, and then after we come home from buying our groceries, we will have our food ready. these type of crescent rolls in a while
I'm cooking some sweet peas. Love sweet peas. Sweet peas are my favorite. Green beans are my husband's favorite. And my daughter, I think she likes green beans too better. So... So these are pretty much ready. And the crescent rolls are done. Okay, y'all, so this is how the roast turned out. I did have a little bit of a taste, and the taste is really, really good. Y'all, I'm going to end this video here. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.